It's the art world's answer to the Olympics. And this year, Australia's hopes of the Venice Biennale rest with a Sydney artist who turns the everyday into the extraordinary. Here's Anne-Maria Nicholson. The Biennale is the world's oldest and most prestigious art show. This year, Australia has sent Egyptian-born Hani Amanias. He's garnered a large international fan club for the innovative way he turns objects into art, ranging from the grand to the everyday. His new sculptures in the Venice show, The Golden Thread, are made from polyurethane and metal. It's been a, an amazing opportunity to be given uh, basically carte blanche to, to make the work that, that I want to make and uh, have so many great people to work with who have trusted me and, and allowed me to realise this exhibition. Every two years the City of Canals is invaded by visual artists from around the globe. On the edge of the city, the Giardini di Castelli is studded with pavilions, like a world expo. There's always tough competition among the countries, but the Australian one is past its use-by date. It was designed by architect Philip Cox in the 80s and was meant to be temporary. 30 years on, and there's finally a plan to replace it. Uh, we're on a trajectory to have a look at what it would take to build here and to see what kind of private sector support there is to rebuild uh, the pavilion and uh, bring it up to date and have it be uh, a new kind of space for Australian artists to show in. The money will come from private donors headed up by Sydney businessman Simon Mordant. His family has pledged a million of the $6 million target if the project goes ahead. Australia first sent Sydney Nolan to Venice in 1954 and has been represented by some of our greatest artists ever since. The Biennale runs from June to November. Anne-Maria Nicholson, ABC News.